Hey guys, it's Julie. Me and the girls went to one garage sale today, but it was a big one. It was at the community center. It actually started yesterday, but we didn't go today till around 11 o'clock. Ryan had volleyball practice this morning. So we ended up going later, which actually worked out great. I don't mind going to garage sales late because sometimes you can get some really good deals and that's what ended up happening. So we got there, we started looking, I started picking out stuff that I wanted. And by the end, they were like, just fill up a bag for $10. So I filled up a whole bag and I only paid $10 for everything that I bought today. So just ignore the prices. I don't know what I paid for everything individually, but it was $10 for everything. I'm just gonna show you the accessories and the wood stuff that I got. I also bought clothes for Ren, Ryan, Waylon, and me. I didn't find anything for um, Max and Brandon. Sometimes it's harder to find stuff for men because they usually wear stuff until it uh, falls apart. So the first thing I got is this shelf. I always pick up these wooden shelves if they don't, a lot of times you'll find them with like the little heart and stuff like that. But this is just a plain one that's easy to put up. So. I do paint these and put these up around my house. So I always pick them up. They're like $7 at Hobby Lobby for one just like this. So if you can find them at a garage sale, that's always a good deal. And then I found one of these. I have to look at my list to see who's next on one of these, but I found a bread box. And this is exactly like the other bread box that I found. So my plan is to paint it white, put bread on it. Um, so, if uh, I'm gonna go through my list and if the next person on my list doesn't want it, then I'll post it for sale. I was really excited when I saw that and it was still there. Okay, these are some amber colored glass and these are really in style right now. And I found three of the bigger ones and then two of the smaller ones. So I like groups of three. So what I'm probably gonna do is do a group of three, like this, and they're the perfect little sizes. And you can put a little ribbon around these and then put little flowers in it, change it out for the holidays. But it's very fall. You could even, since I have five of them, you could even do a centerpiece or something with them. Um, yeah, these are really cute, really pretty. I love this color, see it matches my ring. I like to do them in groups of threes. But like I said, since I have three, I mean, since I have five, you could put the little ones on each side and then a big one. There's always tons of picture frames. Sometimes I pick them up, sometimes I don't. This is the only picture frame I ended up buying today. It is chicken wire. And I just thought it was super cute. It's from Country Living, which I think is sold at Walmart. Okay, this is something you probably wouldn't think of picking up, but I really like these. I actually sold a few of these last year for Christmas. I'll put like a little plaid Christmas ribbon in it, and then you could either put some floral or um, I'll put some cinnamon sticks in it too as well. I actually have one of these on Waylon's desk, and I put uh, like you put pencils in it, and it looks really cute. I put color pencils, or I like these Ticarana pencils. And it looks cute and it's functional. You can even paint them and have some of the silver coming through. There's just tons of options. We don't drink out of them. That's what I use them for, decoration. So this is another little thing. I know it's like a little tiny coffee pot, but I thought it was really cute and would make a very good vase to put some floral in. I don't like this shiny gold part, so I may end up painting that or at least darkening it where it looks like more like antique than shiny. But isn't that gonna look precious with some little flowers in it? I just like stuff that looks a little bit different. And then I have this, I think it's copper because it's already starting to patina. I love how copper looks when it's patinaed. But this would be another cute little jar to either put pencils in or some floral in. 
So you could also do an arrangement with this. If you have two other pieces, just do a little set of three. Let's see. It has a tag on the inside. It says it's made in Turkey, but it doesn't have a price on it of what it originally was. But I, I like this. You could even do some wire and make a little hanger if you want it, or hang it up on a hook. So there's possibilities. To find something I like the way it looks, if it's cheap, I'm picking it up, and then I'll find something to do with it or I'll sell it. Most of these things I have to decorate when I sell because people don't, they're not quite sure what to do with it. That's kind of why these lives are good because I can show y'all what I bought and what I would do with it. Okay, how cool is this? It's an old jar. I think it's old anyway. I think it is because look at the bottom. So this would definitely just look cool up on a shelf or I like to decorate for Halloween and like all those potion bottles and stuff this will look good with that i'm gonna leave the label on it i think it looks perfect the way it is oh i'm sure y'all seen these this is a little avon bottle i'm gonna try it out in my laundry room that i'm still working on and if it looks good in there i'll put it in there but i like these i think i've seen them in blue and yellow and i've definitely seen them at people's houses I love those old Avon bottles. Also have those perfume bottles of the little people and all. I have some in Waylon's room and some in Ryan's room and I think some in the bathroom. I love those. It's definitely my style. Just don't open them up because they stink. The perfume back in the day was disgusting. So I got this. I want to try. I watched a video of somebody chalk painting glass. And it came out really good. And then I saw this one with all these pretty flowers on it. So I thought it would look great if I chalk painted this glass and then, then um, wet distressed it so that the flowers would come through. So I'm going to try this, try that and see how it works out because I've never chalk painted a glass vase. But when they did it, it looked amazing. So I'm going to try it. Always up to try something new. I got this book. I like these old reader digests with the uh, pattern on the back. And I have a few of these in my bathroom because it matches the color in my room. So I'll probably, uh, my plan was to put that in there because I think I have three like this already. And then I'll put another one. But I always pick up old books. They didn't really have the kind, the vintage kind that I really like to sell but I do like the Reader Digest for myself, especially with the patterns that they have. Now, I don't know how to do this, but one time at the Shrimp and Petroleum Festival, a lady had a ton of these, and what she did was with a jigsaw, she cut out letters, and she was selling them like crazy, and they looked amazing, and it was just all the Reader Digest with the patterns on them. Those were cool. Maybe I'll have to try to do that one day. All right, I got some brass. Look at these French horns. Now I have to cut off the string and update that, but oh, I got a whole bag of them. So this will look great on my tree if I keep them or it would look great to sell. Cause last year I sold a ton of Christmas ornaments. I just gave them a little rustic look and I sold a ton of them, but I love brass and I love French horns for Christmas. So I think I have, looks like I have six or seven of them. So this was a good find today. I was excited about that. I have way too many of these, but they always come home with me because nobody else wants them. I don't know why they're so cute. Okay, I'm gonna I have a whole bag again and I have so many in my attic, but they are all over my tree. Let me show y'all. I love these old wooden ornaments this is what my entire tree is decorated with look so they used to make them out of little clothes pins look the little baby crib the little rocking horse i love these ornaments if you have these ornaments do not throw them away i want them oh i have one like this already 
It's the little mouse in the rocking chair, and look. Look at his little glasses. They came off. I'm going to have to glue them. I love the way they make glasses. All the ones that I have that have glasses look like this. Let me see if you can see. So cute. Put your glasses back on so you can see. There we go. Oops. He has his glasses now. Let's see, another rocking horse. I mean, there's a whole bag. I'm not going to take them all out. But you see how they have so much character? Oh, here's another little old lady with glasses. I love these little ornaments. A little teddy bear. And then also what I did last year was I found ornaments and then I glued them to a piece of wood. So they were a little bit bigger and those sold really well. So I'll definitely be making ornaments again this year. I just made, I just sold them for $4. I didn't, uh, it didn't take too long to make. So I didn't put a pro high price tag on them and I did really well with them. So I need to start looking out for more Christmas ornaments so I can make some more of those this year. Um, oh, these are for me for sure. I found these pillow covers and they are the perfect color for my house. They're a little farmhouse. Um, if you've been in my house, they definitely match my house. So I was excited to find these. They are super nice quality. Very nice, very thick. These, this is like those blanket uh, scarves that they sell. You know what I'm talking about? Like this. <laughs> They're cute. But I use them to decorate either as a throw for the holidays or I like to take it and put it around a scarf. I mean a scarf. Uh -oh. I just lost my train of thought. A wreath. A wreath. So the wreath would go here and then you hang it up and it looks really good and super expensive. You can make a really cheap wreath look really expensive by just hanging it up with a scarf. So I definitely wanted this. All right, we come into the end. I don't even know what this thing is, but I thought it was cool. So I picked it up. It's really heavy. I don't know if it's cast iron or if it's, it seems too heavy to be brass. But I think it would be a cute little change dish. It has two fish on it. Like, and it's a little plate. Like I said, it's really heavy, but I like the, uh, the look of it is definitely my style and then this is another little bowl it's brass it has a great pattern on the inside so I think I'm gonna chalk paint it and distress it I'm thinking about doing it pink because the pattern to me looks very girly I think it'll look good in the little girls room or bathroom and this is a wall hanging I love this I could keep it like this if somebody wants it or is thinking about chalk painting and distressing it too because it's a great pattern. It's brass. It has a great boho look to it. I really like this pattern. And it already has a hanger on the back. So it's definitely, a, I mean, you could use it as a plate if you want it, but it's a definitely a piece of wall art. I think that might be all of it. Yep, that's everything I got today, except for the clothes. I'm not gonna show you all that, but there was just, I don't know, like tables and tables and tables and tables of clothes, so much stuff. If you can find a community garage sale like that, that's a great place to go. That's really the only place you need to go that day because it's gonna take you a few hours probably to look through everything. If I would've went yesterday, I'm sure I could've got more stuff, but like I said, I just do it for fun. I really don't need more stuff. It's just something fun for me to go do and spend a few bucks. I only spent $10 today and I got some cool things that I will definitely be able to make money on and put up around my house. So thank y'all for watching. If you are interested in anything, just um, let me know. Found something, Ryan? <laughs> All the clothes are 25 cents. We didn't get there yet. We're looking at this stuff. And look what I just found. 
the bird box that's coming home with me. Ooh, little gator. Oh, I love old tarnished silver. So cute. Lots of season decorating stuff. Lots and lots of picture frames. Found some hair for Rin. Rin, you like it? We're still going through clothes. So much clothes.